This is how you do a freeze frame mask transition in LumaFusion. First you're going to need two clips. I've already got mine set to where I want to do the transition at. So then you'll go to the very first frame of your second clip. Do a screenshot. Then you'll go ahead and open up Photoshop Mix. It's a free app in the App Store. Go to a little plus sign, add your image. Then you'll go down there and hit Blend. Go over to Basic. Oh, it works with Smart too, but I use Basic. We're just going to get a rough outline here. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just get your subject. Get all of it. I normally like to go over the edges instead of under, but I mean it doesn't really matter. And this next part I usually do with an Apple Pencil. It works with the finger, but it's more precise with the pencil. You'll hit lasso, and then you'll start tightening up all the edges. Oh, well you'll want to go to subtract. And then just start tightening up all the edges. You basically just do this all the way around until you got it somewhat perfect. It doesn't need to be, you know, extremely precise because it's going to be moving fast anyway and it's going to be smaller. You can also feather it. Um, you know, go to the save, save the camera roll. Then you'll go back into LumaFusion. Drag it in to that first frame of the next clip, the one you're transitioning into. It's going to be a little off, so just go in there to the, the frame and fit and align it properly. So right now, this is what we have. I mean, that's cool too. Throw a dissolve on the end. But anyway, go ahead and drag your clip over to your first clip to where it's lined up just right with the beginning of the next clip. And it'll look something like this. Go into edit. Uh, go to something like zoom or long zoom or short zoom. Really anything you want. Just be creative with it. I'm going to keyframe it though so it comes in all quick like, like that. And that's basically it. I mean, there's a, there's a number of things you can do to it now.